Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 tutorial. Guys, this one I'm going to show you how to straighten a document. And if you hear a little bit of snoring, that is my bulldog Kingston. And uh, he's snoring like a trooper tonight, but uh, it's okay, I love him. So, yeah, ignore that. Now, first thing guys, you just want to follow along. If you want to follow along, pardon me, just throw in any document that's not straight. And I don't mean that in a... Um, sexual manner i mean like this one <laughs> see the top's not straight now you guys are looking at this and going hey man have i been drinking no actually this pub the crooked house has been drinking yeah it's it's weird because if you look at it uh joking aside the uh yeah it, it's 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 on a freaking angle it's weird right so the the drunk uh, architect but whatever um guys so what we're gonna do in this one is i'm gonna make the top of the roof straight just to show you how to do that there are a few ways to do it um what you usually do, and what, what newer people to Photoshop, and me, myself included, is I would go to the Move tool, and I'd be like, hey, what do I do? And, uh, you know, you click on a layer, and it's like, no, I can't do it, right? And that's generally not really, it's not really the right way to do it. What you actually want to do is you want to click on the Crop tool, and then what you can do, and there's a couple ways to do this. The one that I like the most is the Straighten option. So if you click on the Crop tool, it's right there. In older versions of Photoshop, it might you might not have it. So you'd have to click on the um, the more button down here, and then it would show up in one of the tools. But uh, I click on the crop tool. Then when you go up to the top here, you'll see something called straighten. I'm going to click that, and then basically what you can do is you can draw like a line. This is basically a plane, and then I'm just going to do it like that so that it's the roof. And then presto, I've got a straightened version. Now you are going to notice that the um, it has cropped it in because the image size and the canvas size are a little bit different. So if I hit enter, it is a crop. So it has gone ahead and cropped it. So just keep that in the back of your head. And then you'll see that the roof is relatively straight even though the rest of the place is all messed up because, well, whatever, this is a, this is a funny picture and that's done deliberately. So I'll command or control Z to undo that. There are a couple other ways. Again, you can go to the crop tool just like this. You can hover outside, and when you hover outside on the angles here, you're going to see the um, the left and the, the bendy arrow. I don't even know what the hell the word is for that. And then with this, you can kind of do it to taste. So you'll notice that I'm kind of just uh, kind of picking the angle. I mean, what angle are we looking for here, guys? Let's see, about like, the, I don't know, about, about like that. 5.9 and what I'm doing here is I'm basically looking at this and making sure that this is about the same way across on the top of there and then if I hit enter I would again do it and that would be uh, straightening the document. There is a third way and it's kind of cool but it's uh, not a lot of people use it but I'll show it to you anyway. It's called image rotation arbitrary but before we do that you want to go to your ruler tool. It's on the left side here. It's under the eyedropper so normally you would see the eyedropper Instead, go down to Ruler Tool. We're going to draw a line again, just like that. And it's going to be pretty straight. Let's go with that. And then, with that line inside the uh, image, we go to Image, Image Rotation Arbitrary. It has given us the angle here as 5.54. And then I will hit OK. Now, this is also cool, but you will notice that there is some transparency and some stuff on the outside. So um, not a huge deal, but what you can do is you can go ahead back to the Move tool like this, and you could just increase the size if you want, so you don't want to show any of that transparency stuff. And uh, you, again, you will have the uh, the flat top basically, so it will be straightened. And are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. And I'm not in a car, and I'm not on my way to Disneyland. But anyways, are we there yet, Mom? No. But guys, those are the main ways of going ahead and just adjusting the images and making them go from crooked to straight, guys. Thank you for watching this video. It was a quick one. I've got a lot more tutorials coming up, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.